hi guys so i'm back here with another video working on my hands once again now i have already placed the tips on my fingers and i am going to start by removing the cuticle here i am using a cuticle bit in a very low speed as you can see um, it didn't hurt my finger to do it and i'm just taking off the dead cuticle after that i'm going to go with the sanding band and do the same thing just one quick time around make sure that nothing was left behind once I'm done with that step, I go ahead and take the shine off of the tips and I blend them in with my natural nails. Okay, so moving on to the next step. These are the products that I've always used. I haven't tried anything else like I've mentioned before. So I just stick with what I know. I don't want to change it right now. This Kalinsky brush, I just received it in the mail, and I actually like it. Um, it worked pretty good. I like the way it picked up the beads, and it was from eBay, so it was pretty cheap. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the dehydrator to all 10 nails, and then add the protein bond to all 10 nails. Once I've given it a minute to dry, I'm gonna add a second layer of protein bond as I'm adding a small, clear coat on the nails just to prevent any pigmentations to my natural nails. So like I said, it's just a very small amount um, just to prevent any pigmentations. Okay, so I'm using this Mia Secret. It's a pink house and it's a glow in the dark. Um, all of their colors for Mia Secret, they glow in the dark blue. Um, they don't have like, like let's say this is pink, it doesn't glow in the dark pink or green or whatever. It, all of them are blue. Now I am only doing a small amount because this is going to be the background. Glitter is going to be the main color from my set. with Mia Secret again and these are the two color uh, glitters that I chose to use for this set. Oh that little blue mark on my nail, it's a acrylic from my previous set. I just didn't have time to take it off and since I'm working on myself, I just decided to leave it there. So this particular pink here has a very iridescent color to it. And um, that's why I decided to use it for this set of unicorn nails because you know unicorn nails are all shiny and I just didn't want to go all out and use different colors and everything. I just wanted to stick with one color, I guess. So I'm going in with uh, the two colors and just blending them in. So all of the nails have the two colors, but the main color is the iridescent pink. Okay, so if you hear little squirmy baby noises in the background, that is my three month old. This is one of the main reasons why I've taken forever to upload videos because I do have a three month old. I don't like to work when she's around. Um, and um, she's not my only baby. I have six kids in total, so it's very hard to record videos and do voiceovers and upload them. So um, I hope you all enjoy the ones that I actually put up. Now on my nails, I am blending the two nails, the two glitters together, so all the fingers have the two glitters, but the main color is the iridescent pink. Now as you can see, my ring finger is not in the coffin shape. Reason being is that I'm gonna do that trending nail, the unicorn style nail. We've all seen it. Um, I, I did it for both fingers, but I'm showing you the whole process on this finger so you can see the way that I do it. Um, I know that there's different ways you could do it. You could do it with hard gel, you could do it with a lot of ways. I just decided to do it with the same glitter that I was using. Now when you're picking up the beads, 
you don't want them to be super super dry and you don't want them to be super runny either because they will run everywhere um, what I'm doing is I'm placing them and kind of pulling the acrylic to like each side of the nail and then with the brush I will go back and just give it that like curvy kind of textured shape to it As I was going, I was dipping my brush back in the monomer so I could shape the acrylic that's already on my nail. Um, you want to kind of work fast depending on the monomer that you're using. If it's low speed or is it fast drying speed, um, you you really will get the hang of it once you're actually trying to do the nail. Um, it's a trial and error kind of process that you have to try to do in order to achieve what you're looking for. One thing that I do try to do is to make both ring fingers look the same. So as many ridges as I did on this finger, I made sure that it was the same on my right hand. Now when you're working on your right hand and you are right handed, it could be kind of tricky. So um, I did take longer to work with my right hand, my left hand. But um, honestly, I feel like they both came out the same. Now this is not the first time that I've done a unicorn nail. I've actually worked on a few clients already and I have uh, created the unicorn nail on myself before. So once I am done with the unicorn nail, I am going to go ahead and encapsulate the rest of the nails because I was working with glitter and I do not want to mess it up once it's time to file. Now moving on to the filing process, uh, this drill bit in specific that I'm using, it is not a safety bit. So when you're working around your cuticle, you really want to be safe and slow around your cuticle not only if you're working on yourself but if you're working on a client because you could cut yourself or cut the client and this will hurt now as you can see I do get pretty close to my cuticle but since um, this video is a sped up it looks like I'm going really fast but I'm actually going really slow around the cuticle because I do not want to cut myself so once I am done with the filing process I do buff my nails I like to leave a rough surface behind because um, I like the texture whenever I am adding the gel top coat Now for this set of nails, I actually did keep them kind of simple. They're longer than what I usually work on myself, um, but it doesn't have as much um, crystals as I usually put on my fingers. So the only 
thing that I am doing is adding like the, the little tiara kind of style crystals on my middle fingers. Now once I'm done placing the crystals, I'm going to go ahead and add my gel top coat, which is the Wildflowers Metallic Top Coat. And that's really it for the video. I'll leave you with the rest. You guys, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you!